Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, here's your daily afternoon news brief for Tuesday. A former Estill County girls high school soccer coach will now spend two years behind bars after he was sentenced today on sex charges. The judge spoke out against the leniency of the sentence, but still decided to honor the deal between Andrew Haddon and the prosecutor. Haddon was sentenced on third degree rape charges and other charges based on nude photos of himself that were sent to a player. Hatton was also charged with raping another victim five times. He was associated with the girls' soccer team for around five years, first as an assistant coach and then head coach. One of the victims also told investigators that Hatton sent nude photos of himself over Snapchat and then asked for some in return. A Winchester man is now behind bars following his arrest, stemming from charges of assault and terroristic threatening. According to Richmond Police, 50-year-old Jerry Combs is responsible for assaulting the victim twice within the past 30 days. This reported assault led to severe bruising and pain of the victim, prompting a visit to the Richmond Hospital. Hospital officials declared the victim had suffered three cracked vertebrae and a bruised kidney. According to the citation, the victim told the officials that they had fallen because they were afraid to report about the attack. Combs had allegedly threatened to have the victim killed if they reported him. When officers attempted to detain him for questioning, Combs allegedly locked himself in a bedroom for over an hour before finally exiting the residence into police custody. He is now charged with second-degree assault and third-degree terroristic threatening. And reported flu cases in the state continue to increase. The Kentucky Department of Public Health now reports that every county in the state has at least one confirmed case of the flu. Although flu season doesn't peak until February, officials are still encouraging everyone to get the flu shot before it's too late. And finally, a Beattyville man is lodged in the Madison County Detention Center for multiple charges of child pornography. 45-year-old Jeffrey Sparks was arrested on Highway 587 in Beattyville back in November on charges that include distribution of matter portraying a sex performance by a minor, unlawful transaction with a minor, unlawful transaction with a minor younger than 16, and three counts of first-degree sexual abuse of a victim younger than 12. He was arrested and taken to the Madison County Detention Center. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.